anyway hi guys welcome to my channel hi guys welcome to my channel i am done thrifty fives this channel was founded on thrifting but baby we are all about bargain hunting bargain shopping looks for less honey girl a little cook with me a little this with me a little this that 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 with me anyway girls i haven't been able to vlog because my vlogging situation broke and I don't have anything set my camera up on so I'm literally holding y'all so y'all know I love to drive and talk anyway whoo girl it's been a few things going on girl anyway I'm drinking a ginger ale with sugar girl I know I know better I normally try to get the uh, sugar free, zero sugar. But my, I send my husband in the store, and anybody girl know when you send your husband in the store, you just get what you get. So he came out with the regular ginger ale. I wanted something so bad, I was like, fine. So I don't have two cups, girl. No, that's too much. But I haven't had coffee. I might do that when I get back. But I got to run the Dollar Tree, and I guess I'm gonna take you guys with me. I don't know where my stand at. I think I left it in the house. I don't know where nothing at, girl. So, I probably switched to my phone. But anyway, it's hot. And, <laughs> girl, let's go. Let's just go. All my old stuff. Y'all know I love y'all so much. All of my new scooski booskis. Y'all know I got much love for y'all joining our fam bam. Be sure to say, hey, newbies. Welcome, newbies. Welcome to the fam bam. You don't have to know who's new, who's not. Just put that in there from time to time. Make everybody feel welcome. We are building a strong community, girl, that's thriving. We thriving, girl. We ain't jiving. We thriving. So, with that being said, I'll probably just see y'all at Dollar Tree because, like I said, I don't, I can't ride and talk to y'all because I don't have my stand anymore. I'm going to have to find another one. I might run to five below where I'm at. Anyway, I'll see y'all when I get in the store. Bye, girl. Ah, child, I had to do a voiceover. Have you ever been in Ross or Diddy's when that little beep, beep thing go off? Girl, was just hollering. But I wanted to come on and show you guys. At first, I wasn't even planning on vlogging this part. But I want to show you guys this. Have y'all ever seen that? Lime pepper. I was so tempted to get it. Please let me know in the comments. Have y'all ever seen lime pepper or used it? Also, girl, this little jacket here. This little vegan leather. Girl, look just as good as any other one I ever seen. Six ninety nine. dollars All they had was medium, girl. Months ago, girl, I could have grabbed it and styled her good. And they had, but girl, I was looking. Anyway, child, back to regular scheduled programming. So as promised, a day or so later, yeah, so dishes I got to put up. Don't pay no attention. Uh, so a day or so late, a day or so later, as promised, girl, without me spitting on everything, everybody. This is what I picked up from Diddy's, y'all, because I told y'all this go around. I want to focus on my health. And losing the weight and all that stuff is just going to be a part of it. I'm not going to put the extra stress on myself like I feel like I did before. Because I wasn't so much, even though eating healthier came with it. I just wanted 100% I said focus on the health. I was focused on the weight loss. But anyway, so making 
healthy decisions to incorporate more healthier things uh, in my life because I need them. So I picked these up. I had never seen this before. If y'all seen it before, let me know. That's why I love Dee Dee Ross, Marshalls, and places like that for little things like this. And I should have got on my I should have got on my camera so I could show y'all my phone. This app I'm always talking about. But anyway, girl, these are instant honey ginger little. I'm gonna show you. You hear that? Girl, that's honey and ginger, and you can taste it. Uh, even though I put it in my, I tried to do it with uh, Bobby Faye. It wouldn't come up. Not Bobby Faye, girl. Bobby Flay. I think that's just not. It wouldn't come up. But anyway, it's good. They said like for tea or whatever. I've been putting this in my water. And I think it's a little too strong for hubby. But, baby, I've been doing two of these in my water. And it gives the best honey ginger water i've been loving them. so i was tempted to go back today girl and get another before they get gone i still might uh because i've been going through these already i've been doing two every time but this would be perfect for tea a nighttime tea or soothing tea because you can you can really taste it another thing i've been doing which i used to do a long time ago i got some extra virgin olive oil and normally I do uh, apple cider vinegar. Everybody know about apple cider vinegar by now. But anyway, I do a tablespoon. Now listen, don't do what I do. Do what's gonna work for you. I do a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil because I can't say I haven't did major research, but what I have found out is that this is a good option for uh, health benefits as well. So I take that, but I didn't get that from Diddy's. I actually picked this up from Marshall's for $15. Other thing I got, I had to go to Whole Food to get this is flax oil. I used to take this a long time ago, y'all. I used to take it in the peel form, but I know this is good for joints and all this kind of stuff, omega-3 and all this. Now, what I'm thinking about is maybe not doing this every day, but every other day. But uh, yeah, and there's some more oils I'm going to incorporate into my diet. Uh, but yes, this flaxseed oil, you can put this like it's a strong fish taste in my opinion. If y'all around my age, which most of you are, y'all remember, I remember grandma girl, my auntie, used to make us take cod liver oil. Who remember cod liver oil? Now the cod liver oil to, today, to me, don't taste like cod liver oil back then. Girl, cod liver oil was for everything. Your booty itch, cod liver oil. Your eye poking out, cod liver oil. Your handicap, cod liver oil. You <laughs> cod liver oil. And we would take cod liver oil, and then she would squeeze uh, uh, orange in our mouth. That stuff was awful. This kind of got a little hint of that cod liver oil to me. Then, I, if you don't know this girl, Diddy's, my Diddy's, babe, you can find all kind of seasoning. So I picked up this garlic salt. I had not had any in a while. And I, I wanted to get the big thing. Of, I used to get my big thing of uh, turmeric that I seasoned with, but I can season with that turmeric. Uh, but I used to get that there. I Go there if you're looking for different seasoning. Y'all saw that now. Girl, now, I ain't no cook like that, so I ain't never seen no... Uh, lime pepper and i was a little nervous about it but if you wanted to make like some lemon lime something that's probably good probably on like some street corn i didn't get it though because i ain't trust myself i i, I have to test it out some this size and see how i like it. i don't want to get that big old thing be like, <clears throat> anyway so i got this got season i always pick up a seasoning or something from there and then i got this slim tea herbal supplement like when i don't feel like eating and help my digestive sense of girl and it can help me shed a pound i said i was gonna try it out so i picked that up i needed some new chai seeds because the other ones i had i think i had used about that much and i don't i don't like to risk it like that other y'all remember telling about that tumor i just went and got rid of it because i wasn't sure and i could not find the date on it but I picked up these chai seeds. These are so good. You can sprinkle these on your salad, on uh, 
even if you just like uh low uh what is it not low carb ice cream girl what is it they don't call it ice cream y'all know what i'm trying to say they call it something else but to me girl some of you <laughs> what is it called anyway you can put it on your you can put it in your smoothies you can put it in your oatmeal you can sprinkle it over your salad you can put it uh on uh cottage cheese and i'm not a big cottage cheese eater i don't like cottage cheese but i heard somebody say something about a cottage cheese recipe that can turn to wraps they say it's really good i said i'm gonna try it when i do if i find the recipe i'm gonna do it with y'all if y'all don't like cottage cheese like me we're gonna do it together uh you can put it on what is the other stuff yogurt uh regular yogurt and the yogurt ice cream good is mm -hmm. but anyway so i needed some more of that so i got that and then i needed some more turmeric and this was not as big that other one was a super good deal the one i had to get rid of because this turmeric is just right here which is more than enough but the other one i had y'all was way up there and it was full to the brim and it was much bigger and it was 6.99 this one you can see the bag is good but this is really all you're getting and I got way more, but it's powdery, so I don't need. Now, girl, when I get it in the season, I put turmeric on everything. Turmeric on chicken, turmeric on green, turmeric on my eggs. Girl, everything was turmeric. And it had got so bad that my granddaughter would say, turmeric in that, look how yellow it is, girl. I'm all about healthy, healthy joints. I got to get back to running, and this is going to help get me back there, girl. And last but not least, I don't know if I just showed y'all this. This was in a thrift haul. Um, did I show y'all this? But I got it thrifting and it was brand new. I think I did. Girl, this little, uh, did I show y'all this? It was brand new in the pack. It's a stir. It's, uh, it's, I've been using this. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Girl, I got some coffee cream from Aldi's. And all this now do the zero sugar they used to then, but I got the regular. I put it up in here, and you just tap that little off and on button. Girl, don't embarrass me. Come on. Look how it's acting. It's trying to embarrass me, and I know it's charged. Why are you trying to embarrass me? Oh, there we go. Y'all hear that? I feel like I sh shared this with y'all. Y'all hear it? It's whipping up or what they call it? What they call it? Frothing? I don't know, girl. But it's whipping up that cream. And it look like it whip, whip it, girl, like it stole. So it whip it so good. It be so fluffy and soft. And it's like it whip all the sugar to just non sugar sugar whatever kind of sweet it just whip it it whip it it whip it but good girl you pour over in that coffee when i tell you it be so good now i don't know because i didn't read the direction but i did my i needed to mix up my pre-morning workout drink and i put it in here i'm see now i want to it want to cut up i put it in here and I let it stir it up for me, so I don't have to worry about shaking. How come when it stirred that up, it stirred it up warm, hot? It was hot. So I'm thinking you got, it's how many times you tap it once, tap it twice, tap it, I don't know, because I threw the direction away and didn't read. But I got this for 50 cents. So anyway, that's my little ditty haul, y'all. Come on this journey with me. Also, I went to Five Below. I didn't take y'all with me, but when I don't feel like leaving, I was gonna get the eight pounds, but hubby was like the eight. This is like more. I forget what he called. I'm gonna say see me, girl. And uh, the eight pounds had like the plastic around. This ain't got no plastic. These feel more heavier than the eight pounds. So I just picked these up. These girl, I can just walk around the house and just look. I'm telling y'all, it's about getting healthy. You want to live. You don't want to just live. Here I go. <laughs> but you want to live a full, healthy abundant life in jesus christ and one of the things i think we get fooled about is you know oh you know i'm hurting here hurting so i just can't i have to stop i can't do it but we got to learn how to push through it to get to that next level because one thing about it if you stop you stop i told my husband this a long time ago i didn't forget how to skate 
I didn't get too old to skate. What happened was I stopped skating. And when you stop, it takes you a minute for that muscle memory to kick back in. And you got to really go, get back going at it. So it's not that you you forgot how to do a cartwheel. You stopped when you got a certain age doing cartwheel, which I understand. But if you would have kept on from when you used to do them, you would still be able to do one now. But we stopped. And you say, oh, I ain't got two of these bones. And I don't speak that stuff over me. Now, if you choose to speak that over you, I ain't mad at you. You got to live your life. The Bible says every man got to work out his own soul salvation. But as for me, I don't just say anything over myself. Read Proverbs 18:21. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't just speak any and everything over me because I believe the power that words have. And you said, words ain't got no... Think about what somebody said to you and how long you thought about it. How it changed your mood. How it changed your day. How it upset at you. How it affected everything about you. You know, somebody, and I've said this before, can come up to you and give you 12 compliments. Girl, you are so pretty. You always dress so nice. Your hair stays so put together and your nails, girl. Girl, you always smell good. And whoever do your toes, girl, they be on it. Do the same person do your toes and your nails because they be on it. And girl, I see you looking fit. And girl, your smile is so beautiful. But that eyeshadow you be wearing. Mmm. That, that. Mm -hmm. All day long, you be thinking about that eyeshadow and be mad. Who she say something about my eyeshadow? Look at her. Look how she look. And she got nerve talk about my eyeshadow. She need to go so and so and so and so. Come up in my face. And all done gave you 10 compliments. But the only thing you can focus on is that negativity. Why? Why do we focus on the negative? It's a lot of positive things going on in your life. You've accomplished a lot of things, even though you might think they're mediocre, but you did it. You accomplished it. You got it done. But now you minimize by saying, Dad, that wasn't nothing. Anybody could do that. Well, you did it. And you accomplished it. And you finished it. Or you started it. Or you thought it through. That's a blessing. So stop minimizing your life. Stop minimizing what God bless you to do. Stop minimizing your health. Stop minimizing your relationship. Stop minimizing your, your plans, your gift. And stop minimizing and maximizing in Christ. God said he came to give us life and give it to him most abundantly. Most abundantly. So y'all know I've been, I've been real on here late. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Bye. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Drop down in the comments below and let me know what you doing in 2024 that you ain't doing no more let me know girl let me go <music>